Hi everyone, welcome to a race episode of Pandemic Cooking. Today we are going to be making taco salad. So we talked about some things that are going to be a little bit lighter, nice for summer, maybe some more nutrients in them, a little bit more nutrient dense instead of my love of gnocchi, mm -hmm. but not super nutrient dense. So what I've got today is I'm going to be doing a chicken taco salad. I'm going to be cooking up all this chicken because if, we, if I have any leftovers, this is really nice to have leftover. Because I'm using chicken, I'm heating up a little bit of olive oil in my pan, probably about two, um, about two tablespoons of it. And we ran to Walmart this morning. Oh, that's another video, hey, Mizan? Oh yeah. Another video, what were your thoughts? Um, chaos. It's like everyone and their grandma decided quarantine, social distancing, we're done. Well, and wasn't following the... And one of my main issues and what I ranted about on my Instagram is that nobody's communicating. Like you're still allowed to talk to people and be like, oh, hi, are you done looking at the blah, blah, blah? You know, what am I getting in there? Like I, we're still allowed to talk to one another. Okay, peel that, don't cook the paper. All right, so I've got my pan on almost high temperature because I want to cook this pretty fast. And this is the only thing that I'm cooking in this recipe. Everything else you can see is just simple. I just have to chop it up. I can hear that sizzle going, which is great. So I've got two bowls here. Now they're large bowls because I'm going to crush a lot of this taco salad. Um, iceberg lettuce basically has zero calories in it. It's basically water. Basically water. And I actually really like iceberg lettuce. Me too. I love the crunch of it. Me it too. It tastes so good. And you know what? Part of like, like a, like a ham sandwich with processed craft singles. You know, my, my love of garbage cheese. Loves them and, garbage cheese. And some like iceberg crunchy lettuce. Oh, so good. Okay. Hopefully that worked better than last time. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel off the ends a little bit. I'm gonna see if there's any kind of dusty parts on my iceberg. All right, beautiful. So I'm gonna split this between me and Ms. N. We are each gonna have half of a head of lettuce in our salad. I know this seems like a lot, but... Yeah, that is a lot. What, is it? Yeah. I mean, I'm good with like a third. Like if I cut this off? Like this piece? Yeah. Okay. Am I making your life okay. difficult? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna a rough chop a lot of people like to tear their lettuce I like to chop it I've heard sometimes that tearing it I see what you're saying that tearing it um, can like damage the nutrients but you know you only want half yeah now, now, that I put it in, now that I put now it in the you bowl see how much it is <laughs> <laughs> I'll save that for something else okay listen I sometimes I'm wrong it looks much less in my bowl my bowl or that bowl is bigger but whatever okay so now I am going to start breaking this up. We've got some nice heat on the pan. I'm gonna start breaking this up. You could use ground beef, you could use ground pork, you could use ground turkey. Um, we couldn't find turkey this morning, so we got chicken, okay? So we're gonna get a complete protein out of this, which is really great. I've got a couple seasoning, or a couple spices here. I'm gonna start with a bit of seasoning salt. I find one of the things that can go awry with a taco salad is the meat is bland. Yeah? Yep. I feel that way with a hamburger as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of seasoning salt, a little bit of regular just table salt, some black pepper. Oh my God, I just about dumped it in with the like spoon side. And I'm just gonna make sure, keep smushing it up so I make sure this cooks all the way through. The reason I'm not adding any of my like Tex-Mex or my taco seasoning at this point is because I wanna be able to still see the color of the chicken. I feel this way with any type of ground meat that I'm cooking. Do you do the same? What? You like don't add like the colorful spices so you know that it, it's cooked? No. You don't do the same? You just add them now? No, I cook it and then I add, and then I season it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, like, I wouldn't add any seasoning until it's cooked. Not even salt? Not even salt. Interesting. How come? I don't know. That's just the way you do it? That's just how I've done it. What? Oh, wait. Is that how my mom does it? I have no idea. I've never um, actually watched her cook ground. <laughs> She's cooked it. Never watched She's her do it. it. She's cooked it. Okay, so we, um, the other vegetable that we're going to be adding today are some green onions. These are much fresher than the ones we had the other day. You don't love a green onion, hey? I don't. They're optional in your taco salad. I will go without. What? I don't know. I just, like... Mm. I but it's just, I have a weird relationship with onions, you know? Like that day that you and 
Mr. Dawson were both cooking things with onions. It was I a bit much. I was gonna die. Like, die I because of the sit, smell or like? The smell. It just, it, like it just makes my whole face just <laughs> melt. I had to sit with my palms of my hands and my eyeballs trying to relax. Oi. Well, I'm sorry that you're so, such a sensitive flower. I will eat these because I love. Okay, I'm so the other thing flower. that we're gonna be using today is we decided on an opted for a low fat sour cream. Um, and I'm not a huge, huge believer in low fat. However, however, do I, do I share with the masses what's happening right now? What do you mean? In terms of my personal journey with food. Um, I don't, do you want it on videotape? Huh? Do you want it on? on I do because then I'm gonna be accountable. That are gonna be accountable. Okay, so I've been on the keto diet for two and a half years, which is a very high fat diet. However, what's our time like? Uh, 11.56. Oh, we got four minutes till this salad needs to be done. I have been on the keto diet for two years and been eating high fat, high fat, high fat. I did really, really great at the beginning, but I've been had, having a hard time sticking to it 100%. So I'm just gonna go back to kind of more- um, Holistic. Like, like holistic, a little volumetric, so having big amounts of food that have a lot of nutrients, but not a lot of like punch. So we're gonna do a low fat sour cream. We're also doing the low fat uh, Tex-Mex cheese today. And we're gonna be doing a taco sauce for a sauce. However, I do want some healthy fat in this recipe or in this salad. So I'm going to be adding, I added olive oil to the pan here, and I'm going to be adding half of an avocado to each salad. Are you okay with that before I throw it in? Heck yes. Okay. Avocados are. Love me some av do you avocado. love? Do you love some av? Love some av. Um, avocados have are Avocado. super high. Avocados are super high in omega three fatty acids. Acids are super great for your brain. Um, That's like. Look at this perfect. It's perfect. It's this perfect. Perfect avocado. Thank God. Usually, like they're too hot or they're black on the outside. Welcome to Alberta. Yeah. So I like to do a quick dice, and I'm just gonna scoop this onto the side of the salad. Okay, so how I'm gonna present this salad is it's going to be, okay, to get this out, you can do a little, oh, do you see that on the side? In the middle, twist. Wow. If your avocado is not ripe, then that will not happen, no. okay? You could also buy um, the holy guacamole. I like it. You can buy little pre-portioned yeah. snack packs. And they really don't add a lot of, like if you get the mild, it's very much just like eating a regular avocado. So you can really just do what you want with it. If you want to add some nice mushed up avocado to anything. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, because we have to cut this video so short today, I was just taking my time roaming around Walmart this morning getting mad, and now I'm like, we now we are time crunching. Um, we are biking laps in Canadian Tire. Oh my God, can up. Okay, Canadian Tire, I almost spent $500 on a bike and I called my husband, thank God, and he was like, Adele, you have two bikes, I had to get special things in the garage so I could hang them from the ceiling because you have too many because I bought a cute little purple cruiser last year and we got like one minute, hey? No, I just Two. got an email. Oh, but we do only have one minute. Okay, I got this cute little it's purple, purple cruiser last week, last year, and I saw this red tricycle cruiser with this big basket on the back and I was like, oh, I could live my suburbia dreams. It'd be so cute. But he was like, please don't get it. We have nowhere to put it. We have nowhere to put our current bikes. Okay, all I'm going to do, team, I'm gonna add the taco seasoning to this. I'm gonna give, pardon me, that seasoning salt, holy moly. I'm gonna give it a good quarter cup like you would get from a package. Now here's what you may not know. You need to add some water. Do you do that? Yeah, but like, what are those like? Oh, it's different. It's like, it's bulk from Cisco. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like, do you have your better? Okay. Yep. A couple tablespoons of water because this is a lot of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. So if you just add it, it's going to be powdery and dry. You've got to add a little bit of water, no matter what type of meat you're using. Like if you're using something with a uh, higher fat content. Okay. All I'm going to do is I am going to put it on my salad, add my cheese, my sour cream, crush up a few Doritos on there because we still have to live. That's it. That's take. That took ten minutes. Salad for two. If I had more people would have taken no longer. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the weather and we'll see you next week. Bye.